All right, Sketch Pet Podcast, we back. Make sure you like, share, subscribe to the page, because look, man, we out here. So, some of the charges have been dropped against Trump, um, and we're going to watch a video from Doug in Exile. We're going to react to it, and then we're going to come back and discuss... up button the notification bell if you want to donate links are right there if not q card is on the screen q card is at the end if you want to donate sketchpad youtube has demonetized us but we are still a part of the partner program which is kind of weird um i don't know what's going on with that but eventually they're going they're going to have to pay us so we ain't worried about that right now we just worrying about keeping this train rolling so let's listen to doug he's gonna break down the case of what's going on with trump and the charges have been dropped then we're going to come back and give our thoughts. All right, let's go. This is only good news. Some of the charges have been dropped against Trump in the Fannie Willis case. Six charges. We'll go through all of them really quick in this article from the AP. There is not a lot of information outside of that, but there are a few weird details. So welcome to Doug in Exile. I'm Doug Tenapel. This is where the happy patriots hang out and find out about Trump's destiny as the Democrats try to take him out using the lawfare, using these crummy, illegitimate legal cases, trying to get his name off the ballot and affect an election. Here's the AP, that's the Associated Press, headline, Judge Oversees Georgia Election Interference Case Dismisses Some Charges Against Trump. This is from just this morning. The judge overseeing the Georgia election interference case on Wednesday dismissed some of the charges against former President Donald Trump, but many of the other counts in the indictment remain. Fulton County Superior Judge Scott McAfee wrote in an order that six of the counts of the indictment must be quashed, including three against Trump, the pro, uh, presumptive 2024 Republican presidential nominee. What's important is that uh, some of the, of the charges still stick. Uh, and this also has nothing to do with if they end up dismissing the entire case. That can still happen. Same judge, he can still say, look, we're dismissing the entire case. Uh, but the order leaves intact other charges, and the judge wrote the prosecutors could seek a new indictment in the charges he dismissed. Now, they'll find some desperate Democrat to come back in and relist these charges under something probably more legitimate grounds than the scam they initially tried. Or they'll, you'll find out that it's just po box office poison. If um, if no one takes them up, then you know that this case is dead. I, I assume no one will take them back up, but you never know. The six charges in question have to do with soliciting elected officials to violate their oaths of office. That includes two charges related to the phone call Trump made to Georgia Secretary of State Brad Raffensperger, a fellow Republican in January of 2021. This was the big news item, is that, remember, this was all the information that was leaked about Trump, the call that was uh, illegally recorded and released of him telling Raffensperger, going, you got to find me 11,780 votes. And they're saying that Trump was implying that he wanted them to invent the votes, and Trump said, no, no, I'm, I just want you to go and find them because they're out there. Here, oh, yeah, here's the exact quote. Quote, all I want to do is this. I just want to find 11,780 votes, which is one more than we have, which is more than, which is one more than we have, Trump said. The case accuses Trump and 18 others of conspiring to overturn the 2020 election loss in the state to Democrat Joe Biden. Trump has pled not guilty because he's not guilty. The ruling comes as McAfee is also considering a bid by defendants to have Fulton County District Attorney Fonnie Willis removed from the case. Defendants have alleged that Willis has a conflict of interest because of her romantic relationship with special prosecutor Nathan Wade. And that's all the AP gives us this morning. That's all that the judge released. So I'm giving you very little commentary on this because there really isn't a lot more details than that. So this case just instantly got better for Trump. 
So six of the charges dropped just by the judge saying, nope, these for sure aren't going to happen. That helps Trump out a lot already. So it's good news. It doesn't mean that he's out of the forest on this one yet. We'll still have more to announce uh, as McAfee mulls over this whole case this week. But let me know what you think below. Will Trump be on the ballot? And if he's on the ballot, does he win? Tell me in the comments below. I'm Doug in exile. Yeah, man, we back. Look, man. Shout out to Doug in exile. Um, This is getting interesting. I'm going to be honest with y'all. I don't think he's going to drop the case. I think he's going to probably remove Fannie Willis and Nathan Wade. But I don't think he's going to dismiss the case because... It doesn't make sense for him to dismiss six of the charges and don't dismiss the case. Like I mean, and then dismiss the case. Because if he was going to dismiss the case, he would just dismiss the case. He wouldn't dismiss, dismiss six charges and then not dismiss nothing else after that. You know what I'm saying? Why would he dismiss six charges and then dismiss the case? That doesn't make sense. You know what I'm saying? So me personally, I don't think that he's going to uh, dismiss the case. I do believe that he's going to remove uh, Fannie Willis. Now, I did hear something today that this is her second time being removed from a case. If she gets removed this time, she was removed from a case before. They disqualified her before. So this must mean that she's up to no good and she's doing some, some devious things. We all know that anyway. We haven't seen that already. But I don't know, man. I got a strong feeling that he going to drop his verdict on Friday because he said two weeks and two weeks will be Friday. I think he's going to probably say that she has to appoint somebody else for the special counsel. And that's Nathan Wade. Right. So he got she got he got she got to get rid of him. And that's it. I highly doubt that they remove her from the case. But the charges that was removed was one of the major charges was the one when they were saying that he was looking for votes. And the judge said, well, you ain't proved that he actually was trying to overturn the election. You just said that he was looking for votes, but you ain't proved that he actually tried to do something to steal it. So he dismissed that. That was the biggest charge. So without that charge, they can't really do anything. But I'm hearing that they, they can put in for an appeal, but they had to write it to him. This, this same judge so I don't know man this is getting real interesting but I don't think he's going to dismiss it I think he's going to probably tell her she has to appoint a new special counsel and that's it what do you think man I mean I'm I, I think you know along the lines of what you think you know what I mean because although although I haven't been following it that extensive like you have but you know I do see the red flags with her, and I do believe that uh, um, what you were saying was accurate. So, you know, I guess we just gonna have to see the drama unfold, because it's a lot. <laughs> mm -hmm. you know, it's a lot, man. We just gonna have to see the drama unfold, man. Like, you know, you yeah. know what I mean? It's all, like you said, it's always, why is it always these women though? Do you know what I'm saying? Like that's always in these type of situations, bro. Like, man, it's crazy, yo. Yo, every listen, bro. Every black mayor and every black person that's in politics that's not a politician, that's in or somewhere around it, or even say politician. They all trouble. The Democratic side. Look, look. We could go through the list. Tiffany Hanger, super mayor. She has an issue. Fannie Willis has an issue. Brandon Johnson has an issue. Uh, Bowser, mayor Bowser has an issue. Uh, 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 what's the name? Eric Adams has an issue. Uh, what's the other one? Um, what was the other chick from the squad? Black chick from the squad. Uh, she has an issue. All these, all these black people, bro. 
and they all Democrats and they all have issues and they all messing up. And it's more than that. I'm just going off the top of my head, the ones I can remember. Right. It's like, what are we doing here? But that's another story for another day. Either yeah. way, man, the charges have been dropped. Six of the charges, I believe they said, and he had nine. So there's the other ones. But this case is dead either way. So we out of here, though, man. Sketchpad. See y'all. Peace. Bye.